Hi class and welcome to HSA 6103. My name is Dr. Nancy Shahada and I'll be your instructor for this course. Now in this video I'll be providing a very brief tour of the course to help you guys feel a little more familiar with the, the layout of the course. So I'll be going through the links that are found on the left hand side course menu bar as well as the materials and information that is provided in the start here page. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to switch it off so you won't be seeing that little screen where I'm speaking on the bottom right hand side. And that way you could kind of focus on um, what you see in the video when I'm going through the different links. And remember, after watching this video, if you have any questions at all, never hesitate to email me. Um, you could even text me at the number found on my syllabus and uh, it'd be my pleasure to help you out. All right, so let's get started. All right, so this is the home page for our course. As you can see, there's some links here getting started. Course content takes you to the modules and the way I have this course organized is every week it has a module that goes along with it and in the module I usually have an introductory video just to provide you with a brief overview of what is expected of you for the week, as well as links to any of the quizzes, um, submission of assignments will be found in, in that module as well, as well as lecture, the video lectures, any videos that coincide with the information being presented for that week. Um, and I also provide you with PowerPoints for each chapter. This way, when you're reading the text, the textbook, I mean, I do use those uh, chapter PowerPoints for my video lectures, but you also have them to help guide you along with your studying. Once you've read the chapter, you can use it kind of to get an idea since it highlights the main points from each chapter. All right, so let's get started here. So the first place I'm going to be going to is the Start Here page. All right, so I'm thinking getting started should take me there, and it does. Um, all right, so here is the Start Here page, and this is kind of all the introductory information that you need to really start in this course. So let's see what we have here. Here is this video. Then below that are the required materials. So you have the Delivering Healthcare in America, a systems approach, the sixth edition textbook that is required for this course, as well as the LearnScapes um, virtual learning tool by Jones and Bartlett Learning. And what this includes is four different types of scenarios where they're virtual scenarios where you'll learn about a concern or an issue a healthcare system is experiencing and you will your role is more as a consultant and how you would go about addressing um, the issue that is bringing is being um, introduced to you now below that are the here is sorry here is the syllabus as well as the weekly course schedule now the weekly course schedule is in the syllabus as well um, the weekly course schedule is more like an abbreviated schedule um, and it just goes week by week what's due um, what chapters are being covered and it kind of gives you a really quick um, view of the course and it's very helpful. I always tell the students it goes directly there. Um, and then of course the syllabus, the information there is in more detail regarding the assignments that are due, what, what do I expect. Um, and of course, again, if you have any questions, never hesitate to let me know. Below that is a short video. Um, it's called About Your Professor and it's really where I introduce myself to you all. Um, it's just some background information uh, about myself, what I've done. 
Um, and of course, you will have the chance to introduce yourselves in the first discussion board assignment titled Icebreaker. And you are more than welcome to create a short video, very easy. You could actually use the Screencast-O-Matic um, free online tool, which is what I'm using right now. And um, just do a minute quick video, a little about yourself, why you're studying healthcare, what your hobbies are, whatever you would like to share for the class. I feel like this exercise is very important because um, we are dealing with a virtual classroom and we really need to familiar, familiarize ourselves with each other and um, really get to know each other. All right. So I'm all for interaction in this class, as you can tell. All right, so here we have student services. You can check that out. Um, for help, we have the e-learning success advisor. His name is Patrick Dempsey. I always joke, not the actor, but um, he is a great, uh, a great person to contact if you're having issues navigating the course. Of course, you could always contact me, and you're also welcome to contact him. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll back up. I don't wanna get you dizzy. And I'm gonna go through the links found on the left-hand side course menu bar. All right, so let's go through. First, I'm gonna jump to the syllabus. So this syllabus is actually created um, by Canvas, by what I include regarding due dates um, on the assignments. So this is another way to really get an idea of what is, show you what I mean. First, on the right-hand side here, you will see um, how each assignment in this course, you know, how it's calculated into your course grade. Um, and this is also included in the syllabus and required information, a little uh, message from me. And then as I scroll further down, you'll see that I have, here are the due dates, the assignments, um, I'm sorry, the due dates, and then on the right-hand side are the times that they're due. And it's also a quick snapshot of what's due in the course. I'm gonna scroll back up. I'm going to jump to the module. So as I explained, I have a module for each week. The first module we'll see is called the student, student's resource module. And this is kind of the additional information other than what you saw on the Start Here page. So if you go to the assigned course projects, which I am going to click right now, um, you'll see that here are the major paper that's due, outline, topic. Remember, you need to be thinking about um, the global health topic. It could be um, global or national, and I do clarify that in the syllabus. It's really up to you. I want to make sure that the topic you choose is one that interests you. That's very important. And then I have a sample APA paper because we do follow the APA writing style in this course a sample outline and the reason I have that is I want you to get an idea of the format I expect to see. I always expect to see in-text citations as well as a reference list with at least five sources for your outline and your paper. So as you can see as I'm scrolling down just some information that you should find helpful. I also have videos on the APA writing style so that way it's very clear what I expect to see. All right, so now I'm going to scroll up and I'm going to go back to the modules. And I'm not going to go through each content page in the student resource module, but I just want to give you an idea. So here it says in instructions on the global health video. Again, it's global or national. I need to change that. Um, now, there is there are two tools that you can actually use for this video presentation. You will be creating a PowerPoint presentation based on your global or national topic. 
that you research for your paper. And you can use um, an online tool known as Novio or Screencast-O-Matic, which I'm using right now. And these are just instructions. I'm going to make sure to adjust this. So there's information on both. Um, here are some useful links for the class. The following content, contact, uh, content page just provides some instructions on how to use Canvas. Um, below that is information on the Learnscapes learning tool, which I talked about in the Start Here page. Below that is a video on how to connect to the library off campus. Then below that is information on the eSuccess Advisor. Here is information on the Remote Proctor software. Um, so when we do use it, you have an inf you know you have information on how to use it. And then here's some information on the accessibility and academic assistance at FAU, and then ultimately technical support information. All right, so that is, that module was the student's resource module. Below that starts week one. So as you can see with week one, we have an overview of week one. That's where I include an introductory video, um, learning objectives for the week, um, and just general information on what's due. Then we have a page that's dedicated to the chapter PowerPoints. I also include information on the terms for the chapter. And I include some very brief information from the chapter. Just I touch on a couple of um, topics covered. Then after that, you'll have a, a content page focused on the video lectures. And for some odd reason for this week, um, I don't have the videos for this week, but usually in each week, I have a content page that is dedicated to the videos for the week. So I'll definitely be checking that out and probably adding it in, so just a heads up. All right, so here is the link for the discussion board forum, Icebreaker. As I said, you could do a 500 word introductory post or you can do a quick video introducing yourself to the class. Um, remember, this is you know, only the people within the, uh, you know, in our class can actually see these videos. Um, so I want you to feel comfortable trying it out. Um, below that is a link to the syllabus quiz. And last, I have a weekly checklist for the week. And that's included in each week's module. All right, so let me scroll back up. Now, after that, our announcements. Every time I send announcements out, you will get them as an email and you will find them in the announcements link. Assignments, you'll find all the assignments that are due, how they're categorized. Um, discussions just includes all the discussion boards. When something's closed, it's closed. You won't be able to access it. I usually keep all the links you need, the quizzes, discussions, um, assignment submission links in the module in which, in the weekly module in which it is due. All right, so just always keep that in mind. When you click the grades link, it'll give you the grades for the suite, for the course, people, people in the class, quizzes, just the quizzes um, that we have in the course. You have the chat tool. You really don't need to worry about the research and adopt course materials or purchase course materials. My understanding is through the executive um, MHA program. They assist you with that. But if there's any concerns, never hesitate to contact me um, or someone from the program. And I think that pretty much covers it. So I'm going to go back to our homepage. And um, I hope you found this video helpful. Again, it was just a very quick tour of the course. And if you ever have any questions, never hesitate to contact me. I'm here to help, all right? Take care, and I look forward to having a great semester with you all. Bye.